Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today it is another Primark haul. So I did ask on my Instagram, did people want me to do a pretty little thing haul or another Primark haul? Primark kind of won and got the upper hand, so here we are with Primark haul. If you are interested in a pretty little thing haul, do drop me a comment and let me know because that's something that I feel like I'm interested in doing. And I feel like people who shop at Primark probably do shop at Pretty Little Thing as well. Or if there's any other brands that you're interested in, also drop me a comment. So this haul's really exciting because I also managed to get my hands on the Charlotte Tilbury dupes that they have in now. So we'll be trying them later as well. Don't forget guys, give this video a thumbs up, go comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. So you know I am so here for this 70s, 80s, hippie vibe that we've got going on at the moment in Primark. I love it because I kind of wish that I was born back in another era. I picked up this oversized t-shirt. It's like a coral colour. It's quite a long t-shirt, so it's not going to cut off at waist length. It's going to go probably just past your bum. And it literally says the great outdoors. And it reminds me Phoenix, Arizona. I've been to Phoenix, Arizona a few times. And that's what it reminds me of. I just feel like I've got this on with some leggings, some hiking boots. I'm going up Camel Mountain. Is it Camel Mountain? Is that what the mountain was called? I may have just made that up. And I'm like getting my steps in, burning some calories, taking a selfie on top of the mountain. And this is what I'm wearing. So this is really oversized and I got this in the medium and it was six pounds, guys, six pounds. They've got a few different designs like this. I'm just gonna pull them out the bag because I've got a bit of a mix this time round. So I picked up a notepad. Now I've never actually bought any stationery from Primark before, but I just saw this and I needed a notepad for like my collaboration stuff to keep on top of it. This was 350 and it just says Daydreamer on the front. I just liked the little gold detail on the corners as well. I just think it makes it look a lot more expensive than what it is. It is literally just a plain notepad. They do have different style things as well, like organizers and that, but this just really stuck out to me because I just like the fact that it says Daydreamer. I am such a daydreamer. I'm always daydreaming. But when I say I'm daydreaming, I'm like manifesting. I'm always thinking about things or thinking about my future life. So I just felt like that. That notepad was for me. So guys, spring is nearly amongst us, which means weather's going to warm up and midi dresses are going to start coming back. Because we love a midi dress, it makes us feel like we're not going out out, but we're looking dressed up casually. I saw this and I actually think I could wear it for like work as well with like a blazer over the top and some tights. As you can see, it's going to come up to probably the knee, knee length, I imagine, or just above. It's ribbed material, stretchy, stretch, which is, you know, what we need. I got this in a small. Now the reason I got this in a small because I feel like I kind of know my body type so well now so I know what materials work for me, what don't, where I can size down or where I need to size up. And this kind of material is that one where it's quite figure hugging. I like this sort of material because it, it can really enhance your curves. So I like to size down in it. Put some spanks on though to cover the stomach. And yeah, look a bit like curvy. Just. It probably looks black on the camera. I hope it can pick up that it's actually navy. They also have it in nude. So I got this in a small and it is £10. So talking about Daydreamer, there was a cute little sky blue top. I, I say sky blue because my loyal watchers will know sky blue, sage green. I'm just obsessed with the colours. So this is the top and it's like a yellowy, sort of like a pastel yellow colour. It says Daydreamer. It's just that oversized tee and I just thought tucked into some jeans with maybe like a shacket over the top. I've got some like baby blue shackets and stuff that would really go well with this. I got this in a medium because it was quite oversized and this was only five pounds guys, which I think is really good for five pounds. I don't know where to start with this piece. I think it's a masterpiece for one. I've been eyeing this up for weeks now, but I've been trying to justify buying it because I'm like, oh, I don't really go out, out much. You just can't look at this suit and not pick it up and try it on. Oh, I'm sorry, it's the colour. The colour, it's, it's like a, a royal blue. Would that be the word? Royal blue. It is so beautiful. It's just... Honestly, it's so nice. It's fitted and then basically you can either get the pants 
so the trousers to go with it or there is shorts now i don't really like my legs i'll be honest so i'm not going to be wearing the shorts so i picked up the trousers now i picked the trousers up in a size i'm going to say it's 14 a 14 yeah I, I know this material this material there's no stretch there girls so if you've got a booty if you've got hips if you've got a bit of a tummy we're probably going to need to be sizing up but to be honest with you in a lot of Primark bottoms I'm a 14 anyway I don't think they're very generous with their sizes so I picked the bottoms up in a size 14 and the bottoms are 15 pounds and then the blazer I got in a size 12 so we can actually button it up past the tatars and the blazer is 25 pounds now altogether that's what 40 pounds i know what you're probably thinking because i do agree that primark is slightly going up in prices now but when you think about a suit for 40 pounds that's be quite cheap i think the last suits i bought from H&M, I'm trying to think of how much they were. They were more than 40 pounds. They've got different color suits, not this style, like not this collection, but they've got different color suits. And at the moment they've got like a nude, a black, they've got navies. And I'm definitely thinking about having a look at getting some of their suits for work. So let me know if you want like a work Primark haul. Maybe that could work as well, like an office Primark haul wear. It definitely is a night out outfit and I'm just so obsessed with it. The trousers I will say I'm not as long as you would think usually because I have to size up so much and I'm only five foot three everything's usually really long on me trouser wise but the trousers are not long you'll see when I insert the clip anyway I do have a holiday coming up in the summer and I wanted to pick these up because I always get scared with Primark because the amount of times I've seen things wanted them gone back again and they're gone so I picked up these beautiful sage green sandals and these are in a size six guys so i'm like a five six in shoe six pounds so when i saw these i thought oh because i'd love to get maybe some sage green dresses and you guys know what i'm like with sage green and sky blue so when i saw these i was like oh these are so pretty what i will say as well is primark have bought out these like hermes style sandals if you know what i'm talking about where like the sandal bit over the top of your foot is like almost like a H, they bought out those style sandals and I think they've got them in like sky blue. <laughs> so I definitely think I probably want to maybe get them as well. And then guys, I'll show you this. You may have seen this from my birthday vlog. I think I may have posted it, but I picked this up from Primark. It is like a bralette. It's not something I would really wear, but the reason I bought it was to put under a suit. I'll insert the, the clip of the suit that I'm on about. Um, some of you may have already seen. It was an olive green suit for me to go to go under. So I got this in a size medium and it was six pounds reduced to three pounds. Now guys, let's get on to Primark Beauty. I'm gonna make a prediction here. I think they're gonna get rid of all the Primark Beauty that they've got at the moment and rebrand. I think they're gonna rebrand it and do different style things because all of like the old sort of branding like this is now reduced. So I thought I like trying different foundations and I do actually like Primark's other foundation. This foundation was reduced from six pounds to three pounds. So I thought, let me try it. It is the Longwear Radiant Matte Foundation, medium coverage, buildable. It's vegan friendly guys. And this is in the color warm. So, we'll see now i don't know if this is a part of a collection with primark i saw this highlighter and i have had highlighters from primark before and they've been so good and so pigmented so when i saw this i thought it looked so pretty so i had to pick it up it is a luna glow highlighter let's open it but this was only three pounds guys I don't feel like the camera's picking it up that well. So let's get into the Charlotte Tilbury dupes because I know that is what you want to see. Look at the branding. Look at the branding. Yeah, we're here for it. So we're, we're here for it. This is the PS Pro eye palette. Now at the back here, it shows you the colors, but I'm gonna open it so you can see. Now this is five pounds. How is it this hard? Oh. Wait, there's more. Oh guys, this is like when you pull the cover of a phone screen off. 
You ready? Oh, that did not have the same satisfaction. Not on this. Face out, here's the palette. Let's, let's do some swatches. Okay, so here is the, oh, oh. And put the ring light on so you can see. So pigment wise, the pigment is there. I really like this color, which is this one. Then they've also got the dupes of the Charlotte Tilbury Pinkgasm. Is that what they're called? This is the Cream Wand Luminous Finish and this is four pounds and this is in the shade pink. So let's just get rid of that and then let's try this. Oh God, it's coming through. Okay, so, so it's quite rosy and it's quite light as well. I just hope that it can blend okay. I'm just gonna rub it in now. It's quite highlighty as well. It's blending well on my hands, but we'll have to see. I know I did before Primark Beauty full face of makeup. Let me know if you want like a new one with these products, because we could, we could look at doing that. Then I have got the PS Pro. Again, it's the white and gold decor. And this is in the shade Cashmere. So this is just a lipstick. I don't know if it's a, um, what type of lipstick. It says it's made with sheer butter. So it might be like a sheer, a sheer sort of. And then, yeah, so it's like a sheer, but it is buildable actually. See it in the light a bit more. So that's like a nice color. I like it, it's like a nice nudey, like a rosy nude sort of it's got it's got pink undertones in it so this lipstick was three pound fifty and then they've also got a lot of makeup brushes come out loads of different styles like highlighters bronzers setting powders eyeshadow brushes loads of different brushes i picked up the large powdered brush because i just don't have a really big powdered brush for all over the face set in the face so I picked this up and this was £4.50. Oh, it reminds me a bit of the Morphe, I don't know if you remember the Jaclyn Hill collection, the big large powdered brush she had. And I always wanted that and I never picked it up for some reason. But now I feel like I've got a dupe. It's so soft. You could do like your bronzer as well. Oh my God, that is so soft. I kind of just don't want to use it though because I want to keep it like that forever. <laughs> But that is so sweet. I love it. So guys, thank you so much for watching. That is all I got for this haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed seeing the new dupes and what's new in Primark. Let me know what you liked. Drop a comment. Go give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. And I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you want to see next. Help your girl out because it's always nice to know what my followers want to see as well. I only want to give you guys the best content that I know you will enjoy. Bye, guys. Have a beautiful time.